loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelique if you are new here and today I'm going to be sharing with you seven at home tips and tricks for self care. Since moving to Hawaii and now living in a home I just kind of have realized how much more of a homebody I have become. It's just a much slower lifestyle here so I've realized I just have so much more time for myself here which in turn I have been loving the self care aspect of it. <laughs> so I thought it'd be nice to share with you my favorite at home self care tips and tricks. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first item on my list is an at-home facial spa. Now, as you guys know, I have been on a skin journey. I know I say that all the time, but it has been a struggle over the last couple of years. Uh, I was seeing an esthetician in LA, but now that I'm in Hawaii, I haven't found an esthetician. So my at-home facial spa has been really, really important. And I even teamed up with Vanity Planet to share with you guys some of the tools that I use in my at-home facial spa. So the first item is the Ultimate Skin Spa. Now, this is a facial brush that comes in a hard little case and it comes with three different brushes that you can change out. I have been using the Daily Cleansing Brush. Now it does come with an exfoliating brush and a gentle silicone brush. So if you have more sensitive skin, this may be the brush that you need to use. But I like that it has dual speeds, it's water resistant, and honestly, since I've been using it, I feel like I get all of the daily dirt off of my face. So I just feel like I get a deeper clean using this brush. The second step in my at-home facial spa is this Area Ionic Facial Steamer. And honestly, this facial steamer is such a cool addition to my at-home facial spa. It really does feel like I'm getting a facial, but I love that I can do it at home. It's super simple to use. You just fill this back part up with water, you hit the power button, and it takes about two minutes to warm up. And then once it starts steaming, I just stand about like a foot away and just let the steam go. I love that it detoxifies, it cleanses, and also stimulates circulation in your face. Not to mention it opens up your pores, which makes this the perfect thing to lead me into the last step of my at-home facial spa, which is to use use my favorite mask and I'll just let my mask sit for about five to ten minutes and then rinse my face and my at-home spa is done. Now Vanity Planet and I do have a little special holiday gift for you. Go ahead and use the code ACGLOWING to get 73% off of your purchase which is incredible. So take advantage of that and get your Christmas gifts done. These are literally the gifts that keep on giving. Any girl would love to receive some cool beauty tool that they can continue to use and that will only help their skin. So that is the perfect gift idea. So either get it for somebody or get it for yourself, but don't miss out on that discount code because that is pretty amazing. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move into the next thing on my list. All right, the second at-home self-care tip and trick is to make your home smell so welcoming. I like to do that by always burning candles. I love to have pillow sprays, make the room smell really nice, and then I always love to have like diffusers going. Now, it's kind of always been a dream of mine, which is kind of sounds funny to say, but I always loved walking into homes that smelled really nice and they kind of smelt like home. And I always just felt like that was something I wanted to do. I just wanted people to walk into the home and go, this smells like home. Now that we have a home, I always have candles burning. I'm always spraying things around the house. I just want it to feel really welcoming. And honestly, this is such an easy tip that you can do just to make yourself feel better, to make everyone else feel better, and just to make it feel like home. So burn some candles, whoa, and spray some sprays. So the third at-home self-care item on my list is to work out at home. Now, I don't do this too often because I actually like to go to the gym. That's like my time. I like getting out of the house. But if for some reason I just can't make it to the gym that day, then I like to work out at home and my favorite type of workout is to do resistance bands. I just feel like it's the most effective and I feel like I'm always sore after. So I would just head over to Amazon and get yourself a set of resistance bands. Mine are from Love Sweat Fitness and I also like to travel with these. So it doesn't have to be just at home. I get to bring these wherever I go and they're so small and it's such an effective workout. So that was item number three. The next item on my tips and tricks to do for yourself well, self-care, is to read a book. Now, I am not a huge reader, but life in Hawaii is really, really slow, so I find whenever I'm bored, I'm really liking the idea of picking up a book. So I recommend curling up on the couch or laying on the beach and start reading a book. I'm really into self-help books. I just like the idea of bettering myself as well as reading. I'm currently reading The Untethered Soul. If you are a self-help book junkie as well, this one is amazing and, yeah, it's pretty much changed my life and I'm only like five chapters in. So my tip here is every once in a while just curl up on your couch or on the porch and just read a good book. I've really, really, really been enjoying it. 
Tip and trick number five is to take a bubble bath. Now, this is nothing new. You guys all know about it, but I feel like sometimes we just forget to relax and just take a warm bubble bath with a glass of wine or for you younger ones, a hot cup of tea. And again, life has just been so slow where I'm like, I'm gonna take a bubble bath tonight. And I highly recommend throwing in some, well, bubble bath, but I really like this Mr. Teal's foaming bubble bath with pure Epsom salt. And I always get the one with lavender because just smells so relaxing and it just uh, smells so good. So if I were you, I would take a bubble bath at least two times a week, doctor's orders. It feels really, really nice and relaxing. And every time I just go right to sleep, self-care hack. 101 take a bubble bath <laughs> so the sixth item on my self-care tips and tricks list is to buy yourself flowers this is a very very simple thing you can do for yourself and for your space I started doing this at a really really young age and it was just something so empowering and independent just buying myself flowers I just loved coming home and seeing fresh flowers on the counter or my kitchen table in my bedroom I just absolutely loved it so next time you go to the grocery store pick yourself up some fresh flowers it'll just make your space feel so alive and welcoming and knowing you bought it for yourself will feel really good as well and I just really like these because they're red and white so it's like Christmas vibes so get yourself some flowers all right the last item on my at-home self-care tips and tricks list is to take 30 minutes and clean up your space now I have made this a huge habit in my life I am always constantly cleaning up our space because my boyfriend's a little messy love you I love you <laughs> but it's true so I always take a dedicated 30 minutes and just clean up our house and start putting things away it has made a huge difference in my self happiness I just love having a clean space so just by like dedicating that time to just cleaning up the kitchen and cleaning up our bedroom it has made the world world of difference so I highly recommend trying that I feel like that is the habit that has literally made me happier in life is just by dedicating time to clean up my space and then every day I don't feel like it's so daunting like if I have to clean it's never like to clean up and like declutter my space it's mainly just to like actually clean like mop the floors so I highly recommend taking a dedicated 30 minutes to cleaning your space and watch how much better you feel in life <sighs> in fact I still have to do that <laughs> that is going to be exactly what I do after this video but with that being said that is it those are the seven at-home self-care tips and tricks that I wanted to share with you. These are things that have changed my life and had made me feel so much better on the daily, so I hope they help you as well. If you have any like daily self-care habits or tips and tricks that you do, please share them down in the comments below. I would love to hear and add to my list. And also don't forget to check out Vanity Planet to see what other beauty tools and beauty products they have available on their site. I will go ahead and leave that down in the description box for your convenience. And and feel free to use that AC Glowing for 73% off of your purchase. You can go ahead and get Christmas done in one fail swoop. Make it easy on yourself. But that is it. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.